get cooking, cooking, cooking with Amy. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. This is just a, such a fun uh, dessert, especially this time of year. It's nice and light, so if you need to bring dessert to book club meeting or the ladies' luncheon or, you know, potluck, something like that, or just want to really wow your family and friends, make this. It's a lemon blueberry trifle. Uh, the best thing about it, no baking required. So it started out with two boxes of instant lemon pudding, and I whisked that together with three cups of cold milk. And now I'm going to take some frozen whipped topping, one of the large containers, and take about three quarters of it and fold that into the lemon pudding. And that's going to make this lemon pudding taste like a lemon mousse. This is a make-ahead, too. I love that. So you can throw this dessert together the morning of your event and get it out of the way. Just park it in the refrigerator. Okay, so now went to festival and picked up some angel food cake. And this is a nice light dessert. You could certainly use lighter whipped topping and sugar-free pudding to lighten it up even more. And we're just going to start layering into what's called a trifle dish. It's a clear glass bowl on a pedestal. I do dips in these salads and these trifle desserts, and they're so pretty. If you don't have one of these, you could just use a pretty clear uh, glass bowl, or you could do these in individual parfaits or, you know, wine glasses, martini glasses, uh, sundae dishes, or just even clear plastic cups. So we're going to start layering. The cake goes down some of the lemon mousse, some fresh blueberries, more cake. And by the way, I hope you'll come see me tonight as part of the Fox Cities Book Festival. I'm actually doing a cooking demo at the Nina Public Library at 6.30 tonight. It's free. It's going to be a ton of fun, so please come on out and see me. Okay, so again, more cake. Just pile it up, and we'll do some more of the mousse. And at this point, you just do a couple more of these layers and park it into the refrigerator, loosely covered with plastic wrap. And then right before serving, you take that remaining whipped topping that we did not use and put a nice big cloud of that over the top just to decorate it and make it look absolutely gorgeous. And the key is when you're doing this, to not mix the layers together so that you can really see them. And then you want to decorate the top. Again, this is right before you bring it out to wow everybody. You put the whipped topping on and decorate the top with some extra berries. You could do some lemon slices and then a little bit of fresh mint too. And this is just such a pretty light spring dessert, pretty much guilt-free. Angel food cake is, you know, pretty good for you. And then a little bit of fresh mint just to finish it off. This recipe is in my latest cookbook. You can also get it on our website, and you can also pick it up at any area festival foods. And you know me, I'm always cooking, even on the weekends. I certainly hope you'll watch Good Day Wisconsin Sunday, where I'm making a one skillet recipe. All in one skillet, it's my cheese tortellini dinner. Everybody loves it. Quick, easy fix, uh, 10 minutes or, or less, and it's, it's ready for dinner. And that's gonna be Sunday on Good Day Wisconsin. Living with Amy today, is all about some brand new fun recipes, an all new show, all new recipes. I'm doing a, a real quick, easy chicken breast dish, chicken and grapes. Uh, we're also gonna do a couple of great easy beef dishes too. So hope we'll see you here, Living with Amy, right after Good Day Wisconsin. Isn't this gorgeous? I guess I'll have to share it with Pete and Rachel. Pete's been eyeing up this dessert all morning, so we'll get him some. We'll be back, stay with us.